Hello everybody, we're going to be talking about the difference between capital G and lowercase g. Now, it seems a bit odd, but we're really talking about the difference between uh, the universal constant of gravitation, which, which, is, which has a definite uh, value, and it is a constant as the name implies, and that value is 6.67 times 10 of the power times Newton meter squared divided by kilogram squared. So this G is a constant. It will always remain the same no matter where you are in the universe, or at least, you know, in the realm of, of classical, uh, classical physics. Now, um, this G here, this G is the acceleration due to gravity. And what this, um, what this is saying is that, that whenever, so say you, you, you have a ball, okay? You have a ball and it's, um, you know, it, it's a top of cliff that is H meters long and you drop it, you drop this ball. So this ball would accelerate downwards at, at, at the rate of g. So g is the acceleration due to gravity. And, and the value of g is, is changing. It's always changing and it's, and it's different in different planets. And in fact, this value of g changes as you go higher up the atmosphere. So, you know, what is the difference between these two? besides the obvious, and, and where do they come from? Okay, so we know that the force of gravity, we know that the force of gravity can be expressed by, universe, by, uh, by Newton's law of universal gravitation. And um, so, so in this case it would be, um, so the universal constant times the mass of the Earth, right, because we are, we're, we're determining the force of gravity um, on Earth, it's the mass of the Earth, times the mass of some object. So let's say this ball, so this ball of, of um, mass m, okay, divided by r squared. So r really is this h here. Okay, now we can also express this as, um, we can also express the force of gravity as mg, mg. However, if you if you look at it, if you were to, um, div uh, I guess, divide both sides by the mass of the ball, that would cancel out, and you'd be left with g m b divided by r squared equals g. So what we're what we're showing here is that this value of g is closely related to uh, Newton's law of universal gravitation. In fact, it, um, what it is, is it is simply this. It is this guy right here. And that's why you can, you know, you can also um, express the force of gravity as mg, because really g is just this part of of Newton's law of universal gravitation. Um, so the acceleration of gravity, um, as it shows here, changes depending on the mass of the planet or depending on the mass of the gravitating body. Um, and it depends, and it depends inversely to the, uh, to the distance squared from, from that body. So what, what we're trying to say here is that the acceleration due to gravity on um, say on Earth, um, it is is gra the acceleration uh, due to gravity on on the Moon, for example, and and as a lot of you you may know, um, the uh, the gra the force of gravitation on the Moon is actually a sixth of of that of the Earth because the Moon is a smaller planet. It has uh, the mass of the Moon is is um, a sixth of um, of the mass of the Earth. So I hope this uh, cleared some um, 
some uh, some doubt on on where these uh, numbers come from. Uh, thank you for watching once again, and let me know how I did.